Well, hello, welcome, welcome back to Groove with Joe. I'm Joe Peluso, and this is going to be the quick little recap of the past week. I got started with basically 100 days until my birthday, getting super, super serious. And what did I do? I enjoyed the weekend. You know, some, sometimes it happens. Friday night comes around, then Saturday, then Sunday, and you just want to have fun. You don't want to worry about the stress of the week. You don't want to worry about work. You just enjoy yourself. And that's pretty much what I did. Abby and I had a great weekend, just, you know, went out, did some stuff, went to take it to the track, uh, check out the other video. It's been pretty, really popular, really excited about that. Going to basically create a take it to the track YouTube channel, which is, you know, the take it to the track was a, an event basically for illegal racing to be more like legitimate, pretty much. It was the first legal pit in Atlanta, which was really, really cool. I uh, met a couple of really cool people there. The, the skills of people are insane. I mean, I, there's other friends of mine, Justin, who's been involved in racing and stuff like that. Been meaning to get involved more in that. And there's a couple of plans, which I'll let you know down the road in terms of actually mounting my gimbal and camera onto my Mazda Miata MX-5. Basically, I need to get another roof attachment and a trunk attachment, but very, very much so looking forward to that. <clears throat> but for today, exciting development white gummy bear rain huh what no idea hopefully all this is in focus mm. rain please sponsor me i love your product literally about to get to the point where i get like a little fridge one of those little mini fridges just to include it in the video Definitely looking forward to redoing my setup a little bit. My bad, just in case you're curious. Um, got some organizing to do today. Got to finish up the editing from the previous week. Then I'm headed to the rack to go record again. <laughs> and then going up to my dad's to finish the uh, project on the, the wood project that I mentioned before. Oh, wait, you don't know anything about this because... Here's all the recap from the past week. Uh, basically, here's all the, I, di I didn't record over the weekend, except for on Sunday for taking to the track. So in my attempt to vlog, uh, I'm not gonna do it every day, probably do it every couple days, like Potato Jet, where he kind of updates it. So I'll have the date down on the bottom and just kind of show you the past, you know, a few videos from the other days, some, vi some lifting videos, and just kind of like include it all into one little update, um, you know, at 300 means a little subscribers, I'm not really much right now in terms of the YouTube stuff, but you know, I got big plans. I'm looking forward to a lot from public speaking to getting speeches out there to being a politician to having an impact in Atlanta and politics and what, what the city is doing. Whether or not that's in the form of this Take It to the Track or any other sort of uh, form of public event. You know, I was actually thinking about scheduling an actual. Uh, like a protest or rally or conference or speaking event, so, something along that line in terms of, you know, the, the Atlanta child murders from 20 years ago. I need to start investigating about that. Keisha was supposed to open up the, the investigation about it, but she never did or I've never heard anything about it. And now she's no longer going to be the mayor of Atlanta. So what's going to happen? Is it, is it just there's no update? Is it going to be open? Like... So I'm looking forward to updating and like kind of like getting into that, researching that, showing on a drone and aerial image where the bodies were found. I think that'll be really exciting. Got some other projects like Fort Jefferson and Georgia Tech, trying to model those in 3D. So I'm trying to work with some people and figure out what kind of computer, what kind of server rack would it take in order to create this, to model Georgia Tech, to model Fort Jefferson and, and host it. To create it on its own, you know, I need to upgrade my upgrade my computer to up, you know, to be able to do the render anyway. Lots I need to learn in terms of that. Working with reality capture, I need to <laughs> email them back finally. Lots to do, lots on the list, but I'm excited for it. Uh, this week's gonna be very productive. Hope all of your week has been very productive so far. It's only Tuesday, depending upon where you're at. There's a lot of stuff going on with the world from the Israel-Palestine conflict. You know, I was attempting to make or thinking about making a video for that it was interesting trevor noah made one and within you know just two days a day he got criticized because of the way that he he you know presented the point and i was talking to my girlfriend about it and there, there's just so much back and forth that's so polarized you know but the reality is you know palestine palestinians were living there but they're also you know involved with hamas and have the political organization of hamas which is a terroristic organization based on religion 
which is persecuting certain people over the other. And then you have Israel and the Jewish people, which have been persecuted for thousands of years. And then, but then randomly in ni early 1900s, you know, then they decided to make that land their home. And it was supported by the United States. So there's, there's back and forth. And it's just like, the question is, how do you people move forward? And I think less religious ideology, the better. Less religious focused reasoning, the better. And more so focusing on individual people, who they are, irrespective of what the religion is. How do people move forward together? How do both of those, is there any way for Israelis and Palestinians, differencing of different religions, different nationalities, origins, all that type of stuff, to live together in the same area? And if there's not, in my mind, let's make it like the King Minus thing, where you know the baby was going to be cut in half because they couldn't decide between the two mothers who who you know who loved it more, who wanted to you know keep the baby alive more. Take it away from both of them. Make it an international, free religious zone where anyone can practice, whether or not you're Sikh, Christian, Israeli, you know Jewish, Muslim, Arab, whatever you want to call it. Any sort of religion should be able to go there. And have no fear about religious persecution or about anything because honestly that's what america should be like we should be like that here and you know we support israel so why not why don't we influence things why don't we make that over there like netanyahu holy shit, the, the israel government is is so because of netanyahu and the corruption involved and he was you know but then political polarization 75 million people voted for trump so there's going to be a lot that's going on in the world. And, and that's my political for the day. Sorry, random. I'm definitely keeping this, all of it. Pure stream of consciousness. Um, yeah, it's time to get to it. Hope you enjoyed the little clips here or there. And the summary of it all. Thank you so much for the support. Any like, share, subscribe. Seriously, it makes a huge impact. Definitely trying to get to a thousand subscribers as soon as possible. <laughs> um, you know, as, as the struggle said, one of my previous comments, I got great content, the subs will come. And that's just the reality. I'm, I'm focusing myself, I'm focusing on what my goals are, what my plan in the world is. Um, because as things happen, as developments happen, as I've had challenges here or there, you know, I'm using those and I know how I'm gonna be able to use those different things. Just like the way that I'm talking to you, the audience, whoever you are, at any point in life that you are, you could be watching this five years from now, and I hope these same ideas and, and mentality and perspective still applies. It doesn't, it doesn't matter where you are, when you are, who you are, what you believe in. In my mind, if you have a, a non-religious or at least a religious accepting perspective of improvement, and, and happiness and, and betterment for not only yourself but other people who are the same species as you if that can be the common truth if that can be the basis upon which you build your life and interact with other people and if everyone else did that everyone else did that we would have a world that would that, that would be the utopia that everyone says that we can't have and the reality is we can just the crazy idea that people aren't letting themselves agree with and, and, and think or, or imagine as a possibility because of society. By the way, hope you enjoy the clips after all my rambling at this point. Rain, please sponsor me. Come on now. Uh, white gummy bear flavor is incredible, by the way. Orange Dream School is the only one that's better of the combine. Orange Dream School and White Gummy Bear. We'll see how that works. I might just buy a bunch of rain online by the refrigerator. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy the clips, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> day one, officially, of this 100 day crazy, I'm gonna be a monk for a month plus three challenge. And let me adjust the shutter so it's a little bit brighter whoa whoa there we go there's the brightness so it's time to go work out gonna get a good hour-long workout in come in eat some uh eat some chicken basic chicken i'm gonna do canned chicken today because whatever um and that's it and then we'll get to it get some editing done and get productive as heck day so why the hell not record it right 
I shake my head so many times in my life. I've always wondered why. There's definitely certain times where it's for a reason, for a cause. Sometimes it's just me trying to feel like me. I don't know. Weird metaphysical thing sometimes. Alright, I'm going to do final check once over just by watching a video of myself turning, um, which I'll include, I guess. Um, and then finally time to go work out and start the day off right. Thank you for watching. Welcome. So today for our workout, I'm just going to go through a basic Jeff Nipper pull workout. Let's see if I can make it show up on here. Ooh, right there. Either way, I'll post it. Just going through a one arm lat pull in, pull up, pendulum row, machine high row, seated face pull, and then a couple of accessories just for easy bar curls and stuff like that. So I'm in my condo gym. So we'll see what I can do. Thanks for joining. All right, so last set of single arm lat pull down. It's the warm up, so I only did two sets of 15 to 20. You want to keep it relatively light. Keep it moving. And feel the contraction in your lap. Good thing to do is also to turn to the side. And so this is where you're pulling in. Four sets of six to eight of pull-ups. I started with a wide grip. Got a four on the first time. I might just get one and then finish with the neighbor grip. <laughs> Either way, going for eight. I definitely need to get my range of motion a lot higher up. Gotta build that upper chest shelf and just the better back. <laughs> Next thing. Next is pendlay rows for me because I'm recovering from lower back kind of muscle tear. I'm gonna go lighter on the weight. Really, you only need, he said in the video, one time the body weight is a high range. So I'm 215. One time the body weight would be 215. Just so this is 80. So not even near half. But I can still feel it, you know, because I'm still recovering. <laughs> when I do, this is my last set, third set. So I'm going to go for 8 to 10 and try to notice I'm going to have that, you know, my spinal vector going the entire time and pulling. And for these, because it's short bar, I have to get pretty wide. Now, I can definitely, definitely, definitely do more, but long-term, long-term perspective. Next thing. Next, we're getting a great machine high row. Whether or not you want to do it narrow or wider, up to you. I'm gonna go right in the middle, because I'm basic, like I said. On the next thing. So, quick note, nothing about this workout is crazy complex or hard or, you know, I'm not pushing the weight as much as I could. 
because this, you know, there involves progression in these workout plans, whether or not it be periodization, you know, block periodization or conjugate method or whatever, staggering rotations, like, the fact is, it's up to your consistency and it's up to the form and the effort that you put into it. You know, the whole RPE, rate of perceived effort, how much you have left in the tank. It's totally up to you. Next thing. So I'm gonna do some lat pull downs just to finish off the back. Some bicep pronated and supinated. Pronated, supinated. <laughs> easy bar, easy bar curls and some other accessories. And then get back up to finally make some, make some food and get started. Thank you for watching. And welcome back. We have just gotten some editing done. Just uploaded the first video, or rather about to. It's processing the 4K because the files are so large. Either way, very excited. Got that done. It's not the best, but we're, we're improving. We're looking forward to what today is going to be. Throwing in some other footage from the actual shoot. And just working on the intro and putting some time and effort into that. Part of me really wants to, you know, just have someone on Fiverr do it. There's someone 20, 50 bucks or something, but... You know, the whole thing is learn from within and, and figure it out. And I have lots of stuff to figure out, but this is one of them. One thing that I don't have to figure out, though, is how to enjoy basic, basic stuff. You know, this can of chicken, three and a half servings of 60 calories, so that's 210 calories, and it has 13 grams of protein, so three and a half times 13 is like 52 so for 210 calories, there's 52 grams of protein. You can't go wrong with that. Put that together with some mustard. And if you're feeling hungry, have this and some protein powder, which is exactly what I'm about to do. And bam, you know, the celebrities say it's all about the chicken, right? So we're going to see, and that's, that's part of this, you know, this 100 days I'm going to be testing some celebrity workouts because the reality is they're all taking HGH, they're all taking some sort of, you know, performance enhancing drug, and as my sunburn is slowly getting rid of it itself by shedding and I'm itching, sorry for the, it's not the, it's not the vaccine, don't worry, uh, yeah, to make this up, show you at the end, all finished up. Check this out, super quick, took two seconds to make, literally a can of chicken and mustard. Now I might be a freak, I might just be a creature of habit, I might have, you know, eaten this so many times over the years, but holy crap, I couldn't even wait the five seconds to eat it. One, I'm hungry, two, it just tastes good, it's basic, it's simple. See this? Rag. Don't use paper towels all the damn time, people! You don't need to. There'll be a couple things you learn about me, people. You know, I'm opinionated. That's that's freaking gonna, you know, that's it. I'm opinionated. And I think I'm right in some ways. You don't need to use paper towels to wipe your freaking face. Reuse, recycle. Also, though, it's not just about recycling. It's about the freaking corporations. They need to stop overusing and overproducing. Ah. Now I'm going to go eat, relax, and enjoy, and get back to some more, ed to some more editing. <laughs> Thank you for watching. All right, so we're having dinner now, and girlfriend's over here. We're having salad and chicken. We, we normally don't have such a basic dinner, but we're going basic, you know, because what I'm doing, don't you see my head? Do you see? Do you understand what we're doing? Either way, shake. What we have in this great Vitamix shake is celery, carrots, cucumber, ginger, avocado, lime juice, or lemon juice, a little bit of salt, because we all need some salt. You could get some fancy sea salt, you know, whatever. I should do like the salt bay thing, but I won't <laughs> reduce down to that. And then just regular water. <coughs> Big old cup. So we got our shake ready to go. 
It's a new concoction, so I'm excited for the blend. It has a fine patina, I'm sure. Either way, got dinner ready, ready to go. We got a good TV show we're looking forward to watch. I'll catch you back later after I do some editing, and see you in the next one. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. Thank you so much for watching. That is day two, or really day one, officially, of the daily vlogging journey to uh, 100 days of perfection. Even though we're perfect, there's no perfect going for goals and achieving goals. So, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Good morning. Welcome to day two. We're up at five o'clock, getting ready to go work out. Definitely excited to hit the, hit the ground running today, get it started right. Um, let's see what we do. Thank you for following. Twenty eight minutes later, we're ready to go. Thirty minutes not too bad for five o'clock work up and having to go to the restroom just because you drank so much vegetables last night. It's an adjustment period. By the way, we're gonna do legs, squats, core. Some good workout in. Thanks for watching. And we're back, all done with the workout. Really, really impressive workout from Abby and I, I think, uh, to be able to get it at 5 a.m. after the first time in a long time of doing that. Uh, we got squat, bench press, bent over row, RDLs, uh, thrusters with dumb dumbbell thrusters, which is really, really good. And she started out with like 10, then 15, then 20. And started out with 25, then 35, then 45. Uh, and then finish it up with some uh, Skull Crusher pullovers and some other stuff. Oh yeah, Arnold 7s, where you do the half rep, half rep, then the lower rep, half rep, and then the full rep. So you have seven half reps, well, seven half reps, another seven half reps, and then seven full reps. And uh, yeah, dead. Except, here's the thing, going up to do another workout, doing a two-a-day today. Getting a good arm workout and chest workout in with my buddy Mike. But before that, we got to go to Home Depot because I'm making a project. Making a woodworking project with my dad. It's the start of uh, hopefully my first real invention. Very excited to show you some of that. And stay tuned. We're, I'll catch back up with you at the woodworking garage of my dad. Thank you so much. See you in a sec. All right, here I am in the parents' house in the garage with Grandma in tow right here. She hasn't been watching the entire time, but I know she's been watching the entire time. Either way, got it finished up. Prototype for now. This holds the weight. These are where it's going to be connected by. And this is how it will press against the tire. We'll see how it goes. Looking forward to additional product testing and changing some things around because it's the prototype. And you know there's going to be a couple versions of it. Especially because this is wood, not plastic, or metal. The weights need to be changed. Lots of, lots of factors. But it's a start. Just like this channel. Just like you watching right now. So thank you so much. And we're going to get back to Atlanta. Or rather, we're going to stop by uh, LA Fitness to work out with Mike first. This will be my first two-a-day on this 100-day challenge, so looking forward to that. And I'll see you there. And we're back after a very, very wet and rainy drive up to the parents, back from the parents, to the gym, working out with Mike. Had a great workout. Ended up pretty much focusing around push and then pull, push and pull, push and pull. So it's a good alternation there. Great second workout of the day. 100%. Uh, now, back at the girlfriend's place, it's going to make a great meal by HelloFresh. It's like a pork, potato, and carrot meal with all the ingredients. First time ever using HelloFresh, so, and this is not a sponsored video, but very much so looking forward to doing that, cooking the girlfriend a uh, nice meal. She's having her girls' night tonight, Wednesday night girl night. Very excited for her to go out and have some fun and, and just have that girl time to relax. And, and that way I can do a lot more work tonight because <laughs> I have not done any editing today and that's a major part I got to do date the other day and then all that other stuff but looking forward to it looking forward to making this meal and then having a good night getting some stuff done so thank you for watching I'll show you the uh, ingredients and I'll show you when it's finished
it's way in time. Finally, day uh, three, I believe. It's time to <clears throat> check my weight. Very excited. Have not done it since I started. Hopefully, I can keep the camera straight. Let's uh, I gotta put this down, of course. Let's see. That's it. Starting weight was 212 or 213 just a couple days ago, and I'm at 207. 207 with 25.1 27 or 207 with 25.1% body fat. I love it. So one of the major things for me in my journey, what I'm planning on doing is I've been logging. I'm a big data person, I'm not saying you have to do it every single day. It's actually probably better that you don't do it every single day just because of the variations in you know body weight or you know body water weight or just how much food is still in your body. I mean there, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff to it. But either way, you go and can log it. So that's the log, 513, 207, 25.1. Sweet. Guess I'll show a few other things. Those are the only races I've run, not that many compared to a lot. Went to uh, Black Hills for motorcycle rally last year, the year before last. Oktoberfest, and that's from the, some like a uh, art exhibit, Yuki something. So yeah, very excited today. Gonna have a great day. Gonna get a bunch done. Got filming at the rack later today from three to seven, and then next to early tomorrow morning, bright and early at five thirty o'clock, five thirty a.m. until about noon. Uh, gonna be working out, filming, working out, filming. And then I have a whole bunch of editing to do on that after Friday afternoon, Saturday, just to you know, give them those files and everything for the first weekly paycheck as an in-house videographer for a gym, which is definitely exciting. But you know, I don't want to honestly, I don't want don't want to screw it up. Like there's a there's a lot that I need to do, a lot that I need to learn. But uh, I know I can do it. It's just getting it out there, and you know, I have a lot of uh, other YouTubers to learn from, you know, or other other filmmakers in terms of how to you know, edit and compose and frame the shots and, and edit, I mean, add the transition so it's interesting and whether or not to add the music because there's music playing in the gym, but, so I can't like, you know, take that music out of it, so that's part of it. I know there are some things where I can, but then I'm balancing the editing time versus production time versus, you know, I mean, recording time versus, you know, the payoff at the end of the week, which is, you know, it's good, I, I can't complain, um, you know, but I could also get, it's like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's interesting, but uh, I'm very much so looking forward to continuing that process, learning from all those people and it's only week one. So there's a lot, lot to do, a lot I'm looking forward to getting done. I haven't even gotten the, uh, the editing for Monday's shoot done. So, uh, yeah, there's definitely some stuff that I'm going to get done today. So looking forward to that. I'll probably do like a, just a time lapse or something of me editing and going through that. And, uh, and then it's off to the rack to test the prototype and to do the filming and have a great workout. So it's going to be a fun day today. Thank you for joining. All right. I got some basic. Uh, <laughs> first time doing that kind of transition. And I don't know how I like it or how you would like it. <laughs> Either way, got some got some good work done. Good plans made. Ready to, and ready to go for the, uh, well, except for the gimbal being charged and needing to be charged. I'm ready to go. Uh, going to get some lunch in. Super basic. Chicken and rice with some sauce what kind of sauce i don't know what kind of sauce it's just some kind of, some kind of sauce let's see actually i really do forget it. i think it's like a honey mustard barbecue yeah honey mustard barbecue can't complain microwave it up super simple highly recommend your meal prep this meal probably costs dollar fifty two dollars max it's also extremely basic not everyone likes extremely basic and that's okay too but either way, that's what I'm doing. Getting that done, getting back to work. And uh, 
Living the freaking dream, people. Seriously, like, I can't... Uh... I, I wholeheartedly advocate to every single one of you watching, who will ever watch and who has watched before, to find something you enjoy doing. Find a life you enjoy living. Like, it's, it's, woo! It's as simple as that. All right, time to eat, and I'll check you later. All right, we are back, making another shake. Got some good work done. Now it's 2 o'clock. Before we go to the rack to work out, Gonna have some pre-workout, of course. I'm not gonna dry scoop it like a freaking crazy person, but we're gonna have a shake. Basic again. Can you guess? It is peanut butter, banana, a few berries, some ice, some protein powder, and water. So simple yet so easy. And just like that, I'm good to go. I got my shake. Um, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I don't need anything fancy and special. I, I love fancy and special, but ugh, I'm really going to enjoy this time of just being basic, regimented, the exact same thing. Like, mm, so excited. Thank you for watching and just, and just dealing with my crazy. Hope you enjoy. Know you enjoy. <clears throat> Cause I'm a just a fucking weird person. And it's the internet, so I can say the F word if I want to. Sorry, Dad, but either way, see you in the next thing. Hey everyone, so we're at the rack right now, getting some work done. And by work I mean recording all the athletes and other people here and the trainers as they do their amazing work being trainers. I have a lot to learn, so much to freaking learn. Uh, it's been great. I was able to do some recording and also work at the same time. And I just want to say hello to all my Patreon people. Currently just one person. Abby, hello. Thank you so much. Um, you may not know you're a Patreon member, but you are. Um, it's, yeah, really. It's been a interesting process starting this and getting getting the, uh, the process down, the understanding, how to work with people. And, and honestly, you know, I'm no different than anyone else. Like, I, I, I might have been able to remember pi to 170 digits, but I don't think I'm any different from anyone else. And I know that you could do it as well, whatever your passion and hobby is. And that's the fifth time that I'm going to repeat something like that today, and let's get back to work. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, thank you for watching, thank you for being a part of it. And, uh, yeah, go out and be great and have a great day. See ya. Here we go, good morning, five. 35 in the morning at the rack very excited for a workout and a record first thing in the morning my uh, my head is shiny and I'm excited to get some work done happy Friday and thanks for joining